All right, so in this video, we're going to try to solve this example problem from the book. Uh, I'm really a beginner at this class, so uh, it's going to probably not end well, but let's just see what happens. All right, so a circular ring of radius A carries a uniform, char a uniform charge uh, rho L in uh, coulombs per meter and is placed on an xy plane with, axis uh, with the axis the same as the z-axis. Show that the electric field at 0, 0, H is equal to rho L A H over 2 epsilon 0 H squared plus A squared to the 3 halves. All right, so let's start by drawing our xy plane. So this is going to be x, this is going to be y, this is going to be z. And we're going to draw the circular ring, so so that's that. And it's got the radius A, right? So this is going to be A. Okay. So the uniform charge rho L is placed on an xy plane the same as the z-axis. So we have to find the electric field. We want to find it at this point right here. So we want to find it at 0, 0, H. Um, okay. So let's think for a second. We know, so we know that rho L, right? We know we have, um, so we know that rho L it's going to equal to dq over, oh, I guess over dl. So we know that, therefore, dq is going to equal to rho l times dl, um, and therefore the q is going to equal L of rho L dl. So I'm just writing stuff because I'm still like not 100% sure what I'm going to do about this. Um, so obviously we're going to have, um, you know, we're going to have basically different We're going to have the electric field affecting us at different points. So we're going to have something like this, right? So we could call that radius R because I know, so what do I know? I know that the electric field um, let's see what I know. I know the electric field equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 um, times q over r squared times some vector we call r usually. So now in our case um, we could say let's say we so so we're gonna have um, So we're going to have three vectors here. So we're going to have, this is going to be our z vector. We'll call it az. That's our az direction. Uh, this is going to be our aa direction. aa. And um, so uh, let's, let's think about how that's going to work. So Um, so let's just, so this is, so we could say, uh, we could have our A in the direction of A, and then we should have like some type of angle, I think. Right. 
So we know that R, so if we have this angle go all the way, so we're going to have it go all the way here, just as an example, we could say that R, we see the vector R, right? So that's going to equal um, negative. It's just going to be A, right? It's just going to be A. It's going to always equal A times A, A. Because uh, it's going to be going this way. Plus uh, H times uh, A, Z. Right, because that's that's what it is. Now, um, so we can find. So we know that we could we could. We, I always like to replace this. We can replace r over r squared with just r big r hat over r cubed. Okay, so we already have our r our r hat. And this this makes sense, right? Because we're gonna have I was just was trying to figure it out before, so I don't know if I need this angle yet, just yet. So because we have the z going up, and then the a a is like the radial, is like the radial vector. So it points out. So the thing is, it points out this way. So um, since or since r is the magnitude, we need to have it go that way. So we're gonna we're gonna we make it go like this way, which is so that's going to be negative a a, and then up is going to be a z. So that makes sense, right? This plus this is like, and this, and that's going to give us our r, right? This is r. So we got negative a a, and then this is going to be a z. So that makes sense to me, at least. So now. Um, so now we've got this. So let's calculate our r cubed, right? So we know we can get we want to get our magnitude r. So let's just get our magnitude of r. Mm. So it's going to equal to the square root of a squared plus h squared. So therefore r cubed is going to equal to a squared plus h squared to the 3 over 2. So we have that now. Um, so uh, let's see if, how we could rewrite this. Um, so we could say, this is kind of confusing, for, even for me, like trust me, this is so hard. So we know that e is going to be equal to 1 over 4 pi e0 and then times the integral. So we know that q, so we know it's going to be rho l times dl over, no, so times dl, we got to make sure we multiply this r, so it's going to be times times this guy right here, so it's going to be, uh, I'm just going to put this also in purple, so we got, I give a dot a, a plus h dot a z, and then, so I'm going to have to divide it by this thing, so I'll just do that in maroon, in this maroon color. Okay, so um, obviously we're going to have to realize that we have to change dl because we want to integrate. So, so let's just think about it for a second. Okay, so we've got our dl, right? So, so, so our dl is this. 
right? So that's our DL. And um, so we could really relate this to, we could change it to something else. We could say that DL is going to equal to uh, a d5, right? Does that make sense? Because it it should, because it's like, uh, for instance, if l is equal to say the length is to, is is the is the whole circle. This is how I always remember it. It's two pi times the radius. This would be a. So this is going to be a times 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 two pi, right? So that's 180. So obviously, then the just the dl would just be that. So, um, so I could do this. So I could replace DL with that. And then the other thing is I could realize that, uh, that the A, the AA is actually always going to give me like, uh, they're going to always cancel out because there, there's symmetry involved. So what I'm going to actually write this as, I'm going to write it like this. Integral of rho L times A D phi times, I'll just go back to purple. Get rid of this AA and I'll have times H uh, A Z all over uh, a squared plus h squared. Uh, so we know those these two are constants. So this is the three halves. Um, okay, so if you think about it, everything is really constants because this is never going to change. This is never going to change. So this is really just. This is really just rho. This is really just rho l. Uh, times a times h because those are constants over four pi epsilon zero and this is a constant too. Crying out loud, a squared plus h squared to the 3 over 2. So all those constants uh, so I don't even know if I should put the vector as a constant or not. Whatever. I'll just put it there too. So times a z and then we're going to integrate. So just all we have to integrate is this. And we know that the, the phi changes between so it goes between 0 and 2 pi. Right? So we got from 0 to 2 pi of d phi. Mm. So, um, so that's just going to equal to 2 pi. So this is going to equal to rho l a times h times 2 pi a z. I'm just gonna write it all in the same color because I four pi epsilon zero a squared plus h squared three over two. This two pi goes away. This four becomes a two. So we're left with just in a grand finale. Let's see if this is the same. E is equal to rho l a h over just rewrite it in a different color. 2 epsilon 0 a squared plus h squared to the 3 halves and then the vector a z hat. So let's see if this is the same as the beginning. Sweet. Same exact thing. So you can see that it's really not too difficult.